Visitor center's closed. It's getting close to 7 p.m. on Sunday. They've already closed for the day. It looks like you can drive back in here, which I'm going to drive back here a little bit and see if there's anything to look at. So here we are parked at the visitor center, which is currently closed. We missed it by a few hours. They have a really nice nature trail you can walk on and read all about it. They've done a really pretty job out here. It looks like they're still working on some stuff. They keep it very landscaped and cleaned up. They have a nice looking visitor center. And I'm glad we could uh, at least stop by and see where it is. And they have some dedicated benches. Got several located here around the park. Coming up to the town of Colonial Beach. Looks like they have a family dollar and a few fast food restaurants and a big grocery store called Food Lion. To food lion for the first time I guess I got some cake for us to have after we have we're having a treat night Domino's it's been a good while since we have had any kind of pizza or anything so I ordered from Domino's and they're gonna bring it out here so I'm gonna tip them because they're working hard I got some cakes from food lion so we can have a dessert and we're gonna do pizza night I think it's Sunday and then tomorrow we are moving on to a different state. So that'll be exciting. A state where we haven't been before. Come with our pizza. Hi, thank you here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, have a great day. You too. Oh, I can't wait for pizza. It smells good. We're gonna have a picnic. We're gonna have pizzas. No, okay. you can go ahead. We're just waiting on, well, Daddy isn't out here yet, but he will be. And the dogs are actually joining us for the picnic, but we're having a night pizza picnic. Yay. Look, you're gonna join us for our evening pizza picnic? You better believe it. Good, come on then. So we're ready to eat. We got pepperoni and green pepper, pepperoni and mushroom, and Italian sausage and uh, mushroom. Yummy. We didn't get a lot of this campground, but we were here for about three nights and oh, we need to add our stickers to the map. <laughs> Bye awesome campsite. We'll see you next time.
at the Point of Rocks Rail Station in Maryland. I'll put some information about it here. It's a historical passenger railroad that still is in working order. should be right there on the bulletin board where it says arrivals. We're doing the social distancing thing which is fine. And they've got us in the back. So wherever that is, we'll go find it. This is a trails collection resort, although it has like 500 something sites. Yeah, assign you a site. I usually do that at the Kells Collection Parks, campgrounds. Yeah, we're in way in the back, which is good. So we're gonna go along the side and drive quite a ways until we get to our. This is where we drove all the way to the back of the campground, which took us about five or six minutes because it's a really huge campground. Stick with us and see where we end up. At our campsite, I found a cave. There's a cave that you guys can play in, but you have to watch for snakes. But see the rocks at our campsite? There's a cave underneath it. <laughs> like you can go into it. I'm gonna circle around because I'm gonna park on the back side of the RV. Because our site isn't level at all. Oh, here's another one. Let me go ask her. We could do this one instead. This one's level. 